Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet channel, thank you very much for tuning in. And you, just like me, probably have a black slab like this in your pockets. A smartphone, yay, very versatile gadgets and like mine, yours uh, probably has a camera, maybe yours even has two or three <laughs> or four cameras. Mine only has one camera. Uh, nevertheless, it's a pretty good camera, 4K camera, so that's useful. However, um, I actually use this for thumbnail pictures, for instance, right? Pretty good camera. And it can also shoot videos. And if you've ever done uh, video shoots with your phone, you know that those videos, yeah, it's very actually very hard to keep a very steady grip on a, on a slab like this, right? Therefore, things like this have been around for quite a while and it's all folded up, as you can tell. It's a, a gimbal, a handheld gimbal for your phone. Like I said, these have been around for a while. This is a new breed of those. It's also pretty affordable, especially because you already have that camera, right? You only need the gimbal part. And uh, yeah, it's foldable, so very convenient. And um, let me show you one of the differences of the new breed of gimbals uh, that uh, sets them apart from the old breed. Uh, this one is again foldable, which is what you want. You want to be able to take it with you. So flop, and that's about it. Uh, it has a couple of locks to keep it steady like this. It has a lock over here. And it has a lock over here and it has a lock over here. Okay, so and you then slap your phone into this handle, right? There you go. Phone in a gimbal and let me switch the gimbal on. There's an on off switch over here. There you go. It's leveled itself out. So uh, yeah, the camera is now pointed towards me obviously. This is what I'd use it like. And as you can tell, this, this second motor, first motor, second motor, or second axis, isn't straight behind my phone. I hope that's visible. In the older generation of phone gimbals, this motor would be over here. Which wasn't a problem that worked. However, the new breed of phones with uh, two or three cameras have a very wide aperture, a wide angle lens to them. And that, that second motor would be in the way, would be in the shot. It's actually not a problem for me. My, my camera, my phone camera doesn't have a super duper wide angle shot. But uh, yeah, your phone uh, might. So this, this is the new kind of phone gimbal. Now, this phone gimbal I purchased for myself. I make uh, YouTube videos as you might, <laughs> might have seen. Yeah, uh, so I purchased this. This, this is a Fiotech gimbal and it's called uh, Vlog Pocket. I didn't intend to do a, a review of it. Uh, is this a review, a mini review? I just came back actually from uh, shooting a video with this, uh, this gimbal. And what I specifically purchased this gimbal for is for um, transition shots. Say maybe I'd say in my video, let's go out to the field and fly, something like that. And then I'd have a transition shot, shot with this, this gimbal with my phone to transition from me being in the studio as I'm now to the field. I hope that makes sense. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like. And what was I expecting? I was hoping it to be reasonable, usable. You might imagine that I, uh, I'd want to speed up that, that transition, right? Otherwise it would take too long. And especially if you speed up a video that is shaky, uh, it'll look horrible. Uh, if you speed up the video 10 times, it'll look 10 times as horrible as the normal speed. So the gimbal would have to work pretty well. And actually, let me show you how, uh, how well this, this worked. 
So this here is me riding my bicycle. And again, this is simply a shot I took to transition a studio shot to me testing something in the field. Doesn't really matter what, but I shot this video for that purpose. And this is specifically what I purchased this gimbal for. Part of the quality of this video is down to me getting used to using it, of course. But I, again, I'm riding my bicycle, which is not the most stable platform. There's bumps in the road. I have to pay attention to the traffic. And uh, that all makes for, uh, well, um, if I wouldn't have had the gimbal, this would look horrible, unusable. And... Okay, so let me speed up this footage to what I'd want to use it for. So this is eight times the normal speed. And again, if the gimbal wouldn't have worked, well, this would look very jagged. Stop motion like, if you uh, understand what I mean. But, well, this uh, I will actually go and uh, use footage like this in my videos to me. This was a worthwhile investment. Uh, again, this gimbal wasn't expensive. There are more expensive gimbals. For instance, DJI has a new version coming up of their phone gimbal. I might give that, that one a try. For the money you pay for this Fiotech, Fiotech is a reputable gimbal manufacturer. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of features in this gimbal, but it, it works. It does exactly what I ordered uh, the gimbal for. So you tell me what you think. And I guess this video is kind of like a, a product tip of sorts. Uh, again, I didn't intend to make a, a video about the gimbal. I purchased it for my own use and to, uh, well, make my videos better. But I'm pleasantly surprised by what it can do. It looks, this looks better than I had expected. Okay, so as this video is now <laughs> turning out to be somewhat of an, uh, a review, let me show you what comes with this uh, Fiotech gimbal. It comes with a little tripod, which is which definitely can be handy. You can uh, screw that to the bottom of the gimbal like, like so and set it down on a table, which can be useful for time-lapse uh, videos or maybe you want a, a, a 360 degree video, the, the gimbal can do that. And also the gimbal comes with this traveling pouch, Fiotech traveling pouch, and it comes with a USB cable. Okay, and speaking of, the gimbal itself can be charged, it has a battery in the handle of course, and it can be charged via USB over here, USB port. It is a micro USB, not USB-C. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure what happened there. This uh, obviously should have been a USB-C. But okay, micro USB and it'll work, of course. You can even power your phone from the gimbal's uh, battery. There's a little USB port over here at the top of the gimbal. So you could run a USB cable from over here to your uh, the input port of your phone, USB port. There's no cable supplied and it would have been nice if they had supplied that cable. But again, this gimbal is pretty cheap. What cheap? It's not expensive, especially not for a brand, a brand gimbal. So I'm okay with that, I guess. Especially because the gimbal itself works better than I had expected. So that's basically it. You get uh, for approximately 90 euros at the time of the shooting of this video a, a brand gimbal that works well. It's all plastic, uh, but it does feel sturdy. I didn't hear any of the motor noise in my videos, which is a, a pro for any gimbal. And yeah, the operation is simple. It has an, uh, an on off button over here. It has a start stop button over here. And you can reset the gimbal with this trigger button over here. So operation is super duper simple. Uh, that's especially uh, important if you don't use it all the time, of course. It should be intuitive to use and it folds down into a small package. And that's basically it. Mini review, product tip. I hope it was useful for approximately 90 euros. You have yourself a brand gimbal that actually works. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.